All right, hey everybody, um, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I've had a busy morning already, got up early. Um, as soon as I turned the camera on, I realized the jets are flying, so if they zoom by during this vlog, I apologize. Um, so, over the week after the last vlog, you know, I did the fasting experiment and all, and this is... Um, I've been focusing more on the metaphysical energy side of it and exactly how those results could be potentially duplicated. Um, considering they seem to spike right around that uh, 18 to 20 hour point. So over the last few days I've been doing, um, I've only been eating like one meal a day. Um, I think uh, I think that's actually the name for that particular eating style actually. Um, <laughs> and. I've also been trying to do different things with that one meal in an attempt to see what would happen. So, well, the first thing we have found is definitely right at that 18 to 20 mark, we do see a spike in energy. And I've got a few other people that's been helping me do this because eh, they can do a 24. That's not a problem for them. Um, and from a metaphysical standpoint, that energy spike and the fact that over the seven days, we never saw an energy spike past the 24. Um, I think that's really important to make a note of because there are a lot of practitioners who if one wonder if fasting or whatnot, or sorry, it's early. Um, if fasting or whatnot can actually help uh, boost their energy levels and how long they should fast because I mean, you know, when it comes to fasting, most people look at spiritual or religious texts and they don't really think about the science of it and depending on the spiritual path or the religious path, you know, there's long, long fasts in there. So from just a magical standpoint, um, a 18 to 20 hour fast before a major working would be sufficient to get that energy boost you need. Um, now, the next thing that I was interested in was what I break the fast with, what I eat when I eat. How would that affect my metaphysical energy as well? Um, I found out when I eat any kind of carbohydrate, um, whether it be a processed one or something just like a baked potato or a sweet potato, um, there is a much, much more drastic drop in that metaphysical energy. I mean, it even goes below the norms um, when I eat processed foods. Like when I ate that pizza that I told y'all I broke my fast with, my energy levels, including my metaphysical energy levels, dropped really low, lower than um, they normally are. So clearly that's an issue. Um, but now I will say like the potatoes did not have the same effect. Um, and for me at least, carbohydrates of any kind cause inflammation and make me extremely sleepy. Um, one of my friends, has, uh, processed carbs completely sapped her of her energy. Um, but like sweet potato did not. So there is um, some personal um, gnosis that one would have to um, pay attention to in that area for sure. Um, then many of you know, I prefer to eat a more carnivore or keto diet, definitely leading to the carnivore side. Um, just because in general, um, I feel better and many of you also know I'm epileptic. So high fat diets are very healthy for epileptic people. Um, so it has a lot of benefits for me. That said, anytime I was, I've broke this um, one meal a day fast, eating um, carnivore, I did not notice much of an energy drop at all. It was a little bit. It would drop down to, um, I'd say, just above my normal everyday um, levels when I'm feeling good. Um, which I actually found really interesting and I found out it would actually go up quicker. Um, so on those days I was actually getting a slight increase um, coming up. Um, 
that it could just be a one-time thing because I updated y'all on Monday this is now Thursday so you know there's been three days we've been able to test this um, and some of these tests are coming from other people for sure um, but that does have me wondering if eating a keto or carnivore um, diet and you know or a diet that would be energetically and physically healthy for the person the individual would actually help them keep that energy level up so it does go up quicker um, one thing we did test and this seems to be so far universal you drink alcohol energy plummets um, and that really makes sense when you look at it because your body will literally try to get alcohol out of the system before anything else it literally starts storing all other um, food sources and just focuses all its energy on getting the alcohol out um, so that actually makes a little sense but it wasn't something I thought of um, until we just all noticed it. Every one of us occasionally has a drink, and many of us even use um, wines and whatnots and rituals. So it didn't even occur to us. that That's really got all of us reconsidering um, whether or not we want to use alcohol in rituals. Um, now you'll notice I said rituals. I do occasionally like to have a nice scotch or a glass of rum or something or a margarita. Um, but I've also not been drinking, well, I've, next to the drink I had for these experiments um, with dinner, I've not had anything in a long time because of the fasting. So, uh, I do plan to, you know, taper off on my alcohol because the, honestly, the weight loss results we saw from the fasting continued um, this week as well. Until I drank the alcohol that night. Didn't undo things, didn't damage me, but it did severely um, appear to stall the progress, and I definitely think the alcohol was the reason. Um, so I am going to try and start limiting my alcohol a lot more. Um, maybe only have it for special occasions, we will see. So with it being Thursday, I know I have a birthday party I got to attend Saturday on Beltane, um, which I hope everyone has a wonderful Beltane. And I, by all means, please share and let me know what you plan to do for Beltane. Um, for me, me and my wife have actually been discussing how we're going to celebrate the Sabbaths. Um, this is something she's been thinking about and wanting to get into more. Um, I've never really been a holiday person, so it's just never been something cross my mind usually but the fact that she wants to means this is something that we're definitely going to be doing and I'm going to be supporting and helping and well I enjoy celebrating with people so um, the fact that she's thinking about it means I'll be thinking about it so we're going to be sharing some of those adventures with you as we figure that out um, for this Beltane though uh, my friend Raven you all have heard me talk about Raven in the live streams and on the channel her birthday is actually May 1st, so Saturday we are all going to get together and we are going to have a birthday party for her. Um, we're doing a crawfish boil, some ribs, um, steaks. Um, so it'll be very easy for me to celebrate and stick to the carnivore. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to continue the one meal a day till then and then start doing longer because now that we've got some data... I kind of want a little more data on this one meal a day thing. So I'm thinking about going ahead and eating something today, um, later this evening, and then um, Friday, and then of course Saturday at the birthday party I'll eat. And then I think that would be a great time to start in on those rolling 40 um, hour fat, well 40 to 42 hour fasting um, regimen is what I'm thinking to see if I can duplicate um, more of the results we were seeing in the long-term fast as well as um, how it would affect energy in the long run because I noticed the more I do the one meal a day I'm slowly seeing it dip even when I eat healthy it starts to dip over time a little longer um, 
So I don't know. Maybe that's a maybe it will balance out. I do have a friend that's actually going to continue doing the one mil a day, so we can keep getting data on that as well. Um, they're not too keen on doing the forties with me, but that's okay. I got another person who is. <laughs> um, and so far, um, again, everyone who's watched me for the longer fast, they've been keeping an eye on me, and they are so far saying this is okay for me. And again, I'm a larger guy, so that does help. Um, but everything has been continued, except, except when I eat the carbohydrates or the alcohol, I sleep like shit. Um, and I even had a bit of dark circles reappearing under my eyes because of that. Um, I never realized those things affected my sleep so badly. That, that's an interesting thing. Thing for me to realize um, because generally speaking like wine makes me sleepy or I thought it did so apparently it'll make me sleepy but I will not sleep well um, now of course naturally one of my friends who has medical training suggested just giving up alcohol together and that's not a bad plan I mean I don't need alcohol I got coffee um, and I won't lie there's a part of me that half considering it but then I do like to have a nice cold beer or like I said a margarita or even an old-fashioned from time to time or just some straight scotch so uh, I have to think on that I think right now where I'm sitting is I'm wanting to cut my alcohol way 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 back to maybe one drink a week um, or just one evening when we're at dinner have a couple drinks something like that um, I don't think there's a need to quit entirely, so we'll see um, how that goes. Because uh, I don't drink for the buzz, I just drink because I actually like to try the different scotches and stuff, and you know, they're enjoyable to try. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but these are the findings so far, and we are getting ready for Beltane. I actually... Um, I'm the one doing the ribs, so I will be running the smoker on Beltane, um, which is going to be a lot of fun. I know Raven uh, is doing the crawfish boil. Um, I don't know who's doing the steaks. I may end up doing the steaks, too, but that's okay. I enjoy grilling, so that's not going to be an issue at all. Um, other than that, that's pretty much where we're at with these particular experiments and whatnot. Um, I was going to shoot outside today, but again, the jets where they're flying, it was way too noisy. There's no way we, you all could have heard me. Um, plus, it does look like there's a storm coming, so that kind of derailed it. Uh, but uh, we will see about doing more of these vlogs in other locations if we can. Um, there's a lot of different things that I got to worry about. Um, it does spontaneously rain in my area, and my camera is not waterproof, so that is a consideration for sure um, but we are going to try and do more things um, I've actually had a request for um, doing a vlog um, where why I'm setting up the smoker and letting y'all know how I go through that process and run that um, true these vlogs are usually more um, just raw cut unedited um, but uh, I think that would be a great way to do it to shoot one of those and run that through and even give some nice little uh, kitchen witch ideals in that particular one. So I really did like that ideal, so thank you for that one. Um, and with that, I'll go ahead and sign off here so I can get this uploaded so y'all can see it. And until next time, I'm Drake. This has been Working Dragon Mystic. See you later.